Wow, hi YouTube. Brought you out in the woods today. I want to play with this. This is the Cold Steel Trail Hawk. Now, uh, uh, lots of advantages over a, uh, a hawk, over an axe, you know. A, they're much lighter, you know, it's a good cutting edge. Uh, this particular Trail Hawk's also got a uh, hammer face to it, so it's um, brilliant for, you know, banging in nails, pegs, uh, um, smashing and uh, crushing down your kindling so i'm going to have a little play with it uh, just show you uh, what it can and can't do perhaps what the advantages are over a uh, run-of-the-mill axe i've always found uh, uh, an axe to be just that little bit heavier a little bit more deliberate you know i have got one in my big uh, uh, 72 hour bag but uh, greatest thing about a, uh, a hawk, especially this uh, cold steel trail hawk, is that it weighs absolutely nothing. You know, it's um, got this uh, beautiful kind of hardwood handle. Going to gather in some firewood, going to process it down with this uh, trail hawk. So that's what I'm doing in the woods. Come with me. So one of the things that you're not going to do with the trail hawk is chop a tree down. Okay, so I brought you out in the woods today to talk about the uh, Cold Steel Trail Hawk. This is my um, kind of favourite little hawk. I've got a couple of uh, different ones. But um, the reason I like this little tool is uh, it's got a brilliant cutting edge. The cutting edge is uh, 2.25 uh, inches, so two and a quarter inch uh, blade uh, width. It's got a uh, striking hammer on the back. It's made of a 1055 uh, carbon steel, so a medium uh, type steel. Uh, 20 inch uh, wooden shaft. And um, the thing I love most about it is the fact that it is so light. You know, it weighs absolutely nothing. This particular uh, hawk, as you'll see in the photographs, has a small sort of Allen key uh, just to hold the head in place. You know, but um, uh, but a really useful little tool. You know, uh, I think I would be tempted to sort of take a hawk uh, into a woodland with me uh, instead of an axe. You know, provided that I wasn't uh, there very long. I mean, obviously, you've seen my uh, truck, and I've got a, a, a medium-sized uh, forest axe on the on the inside of the back door. You know, so for a camp based tasks you know the axe is uh, really good but um, for wild camping you know if you're out and about processing your firewood I think this little trail hawk is um, absolutely uh, peachy and um, in my smaller kits you know my 24 hour sort of overnight wild camping type kits where I'm trying to keep the weight down a trail hawk is ideal uh, because it's cold steel, you know, it's made in uh, Taiwan, but uh, don't let that put you off. I think the quality of this little tool and the uh, uh, blade retention uh, on the head is uh, pretty good. It's also really straightforward and fairly easy to sharpen in the field, which, uh, which I quite like. So the weight of this is uh, 23, about 23 ounces or about 670 grams, you know, so it really is a light, efficient little bit of uh, kit. Greatest thing about the hammer is, you know, it's great for sort of uh, banging in uh, tent pegs, so you kind of cut, you, you work down your own uh, pegs for your basher or whatever, and then you can pound them in with the hammer. You can also crush your um, uh, kindling, you know, and break it down. So instead of wasting, you know, a good cutting edge, cutting um, kindling down for your sort of fire lighting, you can just pound it and crush it with the hammer, which is a really good trick. I'm going to bring you in and show you that a little bit closer. But uh, very simply, all I'm going to do is just use this uh, trail hawk to um, process some firewood, light a little fire and uh, get some uh, afternoon lunch on. But uh, this is my latest uh, acquisition. This is the little Cold Steel Trail Hawk. And uh, at 23 ounces, 670 grams, it's uh, 
my little tool of choice at the moment. So this is my kind of method of choice when it comes to processing my firewood. This is just a tree that's been felled, you know, quite a big branch. You notice that I'm sitting on one side of it and I'm going to be processing my firewood on the top. So very simply, this log is between me and the blade. So there's no way while I'm processing this wood I'm going to hit myself, you know. So I was talking about crushing your kindling down, you know, so if we imagine the outside of this wood was wet, what we want is the dry inner wood, you know, to use the hammer and pound it as opposed to wasting the, uh, the good sort of cutting edge on your uh, tomahawk is the sort of thing that we're talking about. So that sort of thing, where we actually get to the dry wood, this is going to be uh, ideal little um, pieces of timber to uh, help start our fire and we haven't wasted the cutting edge of our blade. The cutting edge is a really capable little, uh, little thing. You know, when it comes to using the cutting edge of the uh, tomahawk, it uh, certainly is very efficient. You know, for such a little tool, 670 grams, it's, it's really, uh, as you can see, you know, pretty thorough little gadget. It's brilliant for limbing these uh, little branches in preparation for your uh, fire lay. So here's a slightly bigger limb. So you can see, you know, we're not having a great deal of trouble zipping that down. I think you can start to see why I quite like this little uh, trail hawk. I think it's ideal, really good little tool. Weighs next to nothing, you know, 690 grams. It's in my lightweight kit. Don't leave home without one.
that pouch is a kind of microwave meal. So um, Uncle Ben's rice, any pouch uh, food like that that's designed to go in the microwave will probably uh, tolerate being, you know, put in a saucepan or a mug in the field and boiled up. Um, don't uh, subject it to a naked flame, but um, that should uh, warm the food through very nicely. And then, of course, uh, the water is still there to make yourself a brew afterwards. My intention is to um, just eat out of the pouch with a with a fork. That's my lunch in the field, Peter. What nice Good kind of uh, soup, kind of broth in the bottom. I do like my bread, perhaps a little bit too much. Three hundred and ninety-seven calories. A loaf of bread's about one hundred and twenty with butter. That's a perfect little lunch. I've really enjoyed my uh, morning, afternoon in the woods, playing with the um, cold steel trail hawk. Very useful tool at um, you know twenty-three ounces, six hundred and seventy grams, something like that. Really lightweight takes up no room at all in your kit, you'd hardly know it was with you. I think um, on a short term, anything except a base camp is an ideal tool. A base camp, you're probably looking at taking a uh, three-quarter size forest axe and um, obviously I have my uh, saw with me. I process the wood for my fire, no problems at all. Don't think for a moment you're going to start chopping down trees. But for limbing, processing your firewood, splitting wood down so you can get to the dry wood in the um, core. I haven't really, you know, I haven't broken any um, trees or anything like that. All the wood that I've used has just been laying on the ground. I've literally just been round and picked it up. I did use a handful of um, dry standing just to uh, get the fire going, but uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. I think the trail hawk on um, Cold Steel's website goes for about um, £32.40, pence, I think, something like that. And. Um, uh, you'll have uh, postage and packaging on top of that to get to you, but um, uh, I think it's a great little tool. You know, I'm very happy that I uh, have one now. The last one I had, I gave away when I did my big equipment raffle. You know, a thousand quid worth of equipment for um, uh, ten quid uh, for a raffle ticket. If you remember, uh, I did it um, last year, and I put the Trailhawk that I had in that raffle. So I'm really glad that I've managed to get another one. Um, I like the cold steel kit. I think it's a good kit at the right moment. Just the right size for uh, what we've done here, sort of day hikes, overnighters. I um, am tempted, you know, it's got a 20 inch handle. I have been thinking long and hard about shortening it slightly just to make it easier to go in my kit. But of course the longer handle means the uh, greater kind of trajectory and therefore the more force. So I understand why it's got a uh, long handle on it. I don't think I'll be changing it today, but um, I do know of uh, some tomahawks that have a slightly shorter handle. I've got the uh, Warhawk that I keep in my other bag and um, that's an amazing um, uh, piece of kit but it's also more sort of you know one um, zombie apocalypse it's more sort of a, a war a war hawk you know 
uh, it would be ideal as a close quarter battle weapon. Might as well show you the Warhawk while I've got you here. So uh, this really funky plastic sheath, you know, is uh, great, keeps the old cutting edge beautiful. It's got the spike on the back, so like I say, more zombie apocalypse than anything else. I love the sort of uh, finger grips up here where you can really choke on it and use it for uh, carving. It's got the polymer handle, so more suited to throwing. I think, um, you know, if you throw a tomahawk, any tomahawk enough, you know, you're going to damage it, possibly break it. But this is uh, more kind of built for it. The only thing I will say with the sheath is when I first got it, this little retaining strap, you've got to make sure it's out of the way. It's very easy to put the hawk into the sheath with that strap in the way and it's so sharp straight out the box, you know, it just uh, severed straight through the strap, you know. So put the cutting edge in first, then the spike and it just uh, pop stud and it's uh, uh, safe as you'd like. But uh, that's the kind of Warhawk. This was the first one that I had. It's um, a lot heavier, you know, really not suitable, I wouldn't have thought, for kind of um, bushcrafting. It's a little bit kind of over the top, to be quite honest. Uh, same sort of 20 inch handle. But uh, I've been waffling on about it, so at least you've had a look at it. I think the Trailhawk is uh, more appropriate, more user friendly, much lighter, you know, so therefore uh, I think a lot more suitable than something like this. What I brought out today was my little belt kit. So this is a uh, small one-man hooped bivvy. Um, got a steel uh, flask that I can uh, boil water in. This is just an empty pouch. Inside I've got a blizzard sleeping bag and uh, some food, fire lighting kit, all the run of the mill usual stuff. But this is kind of what I take for 24 uh, maybe 48 hours where I just, uh, you know, just put a small pack on my back and wander off into the woods. I've done uh, um, good walks on the Ridgeway uh, path up on uh, Ivanhoe Beacon and the Chilterns and, um, you know, walked out as far as I felt comfortable walking one day, camped overnight and walked back the next, you know, so it's a great little kit. You don't have to take the world, everything I could possibly need for... 24 hours maybe a little more is in that bag and uh, good as gold so that's what I've been uh, um, using today the other thing that I've got in that bag is the blizzard sleeping bag and the blizzard emergency sleeping bag is the next piece of kit I'll be wandering out into the woods and uh, using you know what I'm gonna do is set up uh, what I've called a bushcraft bed and uh, it's just a method of getting you off of the ground uh, it's made with you know down fallen uh, uh, lying deadwood build yourself up a kind of trellis type mattress then you put maybe uh, a um, another 12 inches of leaves or uh, foliage on top of that and that's what you sleep on I'll show you how to make one of those and I'll introduce you to the uh, blizzard sleeping bag um, I'll also uh, um, introduce you to uh, sort of a heating system that you can put within it but uh, that's going to be my next film hopefully uh, it should be over the next few days so not long to wait thank you to everybody that left comments at uh, my last film about the um, new uh, cold steel uh, Recon 1 uh, Mini and the uh, um, American Lawman. I really appreciate your comments and it was uh, great reading, I have to say. You know, nothing like uh, reading comments from people that have actually got them and used them. So uh, a heartfelt thanks from me, you know. So this is me in the woods. This is me building my channel. Uh, I'd uh, just like to ask you to um, like, thumbs up, uh, share, subscribe and um, I look forward to making the next film for you. I hope uh, you're looking forward to seeing it. So as always, any comments, love to hear them. Back soon.